Hey guys, Emily Aaron here. Welcome to Mobility and Strength. Now, if you came here thinking this was going to be like any other weightlifting class that you've been to, it's going to be a little different. Remember, we're focused on mobility, which means range of motion, functional movements, things you would normally do in your everyday life, and building strength in those movements. So go ahead, change that frame of mind. You're not going to be able to use the same amount of weight that you would in a traditional weightlifting class. You're going to have to take that expectation down, get a lighter weight, and then focus on functional movement with that lighter weight. That's what we're here for. Now, today in part one, we're going to be focused on back back and biceps. Part two is going to be chest and tries. If you want to do them in the same day, go for it. I recommend one and then the next day do the other one. That's what I would recommend, but you listen to your body. If you want to knock out both in one day, you go for it. All right, so today we're going to have, let me look at my notes. You have three different sets. Each set involves two different movements. You're going to do them in isolation, then you're going to put them together three different times. Yes? All right, go ahead and find some heavy weights. Now remember, heavy doesn't mean what you're normally used to meaning. I'm doing eights. So that's going to feel heavy for me. So you find what's heavy for you. I want those knees to have a slight bend in them. Tailbone is slightly back. Abs in tight. Your spine is giving me that nice diagonal line. Bring those dumbbells in front of you. You're going to start with a simple fly. You are all familiar with it. Ideally, you can give me three counts up and one count down. Ready? Here we go. Give me three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Now that number one, keep going. That count on one is really the important part because you're already pushing to that limit and you need to squeeze those shoulder blades together on that one. So that's what you really need to be focused on. Three and two, get that arm up. One, squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep going. Give me three, two, squeeze, lower, three, two, shoulder blades, lower, good, oh, I'm already feeling it, <sighs> now keep that soft bend in your elbows if you need to, to really protect those arms, I want you focused on your back, one, two, three, <sighs> two more, one, two, three, I told you, light weights, one, two, three, lower down, stand up tall, slight bend in those knees, just to keep a soft bend, don't lock them out, you're going to give me V curls. Elbows out wide. Give me a big V with those arms. Yes. Thumbs are forward. Fingertips down to the floor. Bring those thumbs into your shoulders. Bring them out. Good. V curls. Bring them in. Out. In. Slow and controlled. Keeping those elbows stable. They're not bouncing. They're not moving. Your tailbone is tucked down to the floor. Shoulder blades out of those ears. Good. Now here comes that mobility segment. You ready? Bring it in, out. Give me a shoulder roll back. In, out, shoulder roll back. In, out, shoulder roll back. Don't you let those dumbbells hit the sides of your hips. Shoulder roll back. One, two, shoulder roll back. Last one. One, two, now give me a shoulder roll forward. You give me that V curl. Down, shoulder roll forward. Good. V curl. Down, roll forward. One, two, forward. Good. One, two. You have three more. One, two, forward. Two more. One, two, forward. Last one. One, two, forward. Shake it out. Drop those weights for a second. If you need to, you're going to put those moves together. You start with that fly. This time, just one count up, one count down. One, two, lift up. Stand. Give me that V. Curl down. Bring it forward. See how we're putting it together? All right. Fly down. Stand in V. Curl down. Bring it forward. You're just giving me one count up. One count down and a stand. One count in, one count out and bend. Good. <sighs> Once you get the hang of that combo, I want you to try to speed it up. Now, don't give me sloppy speed, but try to really push yourself here. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Not locking out those knees in either position. Breathing through it. Five, 
four, three, two. I want you to finish wherever you are. Finish the whole thing. Lower down, shake it out, drop those weights. You're doing great. All right, for this next one, I'm dropping down to fives. Feel free, my husband is here. If you saw him pop his head in, do you wanna wave? He's taking class with us Hello. today. <laughs> um, we're sharing weights, so he's gonna take my eights. I'm taking his fives, yes? You're gonna give me right leg back, slight bend in both knees. Dumbbells come forward, fingertips towards each other. You're giving me a big diagonal, right arm back, now bend those elbows, push them back, straighten it back out, and bring it down. Switch legs, left leg comes back. Now left hand is gonna be down. Straight, bend, straight, lower right side. Straight, bend, straight, left side. Here we go, straight, push those elbows back, and straight, right side, one, two, three. Now, if you get confused, which arm goes down, which foot goes back, if you're getting confused by it, just think the hand that's down is the exact same side as the foot that goes back. Good. So left, left hand down, left foot back. You're engaging those abs to lift one arm up to the ceiling and hold it there without curving that spine. Diagonal. I told you it's not like a traditional weight class. You're doing new movements, ones that are based on function in everyday life. You don't always lift one hand with the other. Sometimes it's one at a time, more often than that. So that's why we're doing one at a time. Getting your body used to that movement. Straight, bend, straight, step together. Straight, bend, straight, Opening that chest, drive that sternum forward. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. You should feel it by now. Good, I want one more each side. Here we go, left. One, two, three, to the right. One, two, three, shake it out. Feet close together, closer than your hips, yeah? So you're not giving me that wide stance. More narrow than your hip bones. Roll those shoulder blades back. Thumbs are facing forward, hands on either side. You're gonna give me hammer curl. Bring those elbows shoulder height. Lower them back down and release. Curl. Johnny's going to a heavier weight. You might join him. If you feel comfortable with hammer curls, that's something that you're used to doing, then go ahead. Try and up that weight. One, two, three, Four. Now you're gluing those elbows to your rib cage. First thing, there you go. Then you extend down. One, two, glue them down. Good, establish that support. Elbows to ribs. Breathe, good. One, two, three. You have two more here. Then we're gonna kick it up a notch. If this feels like a healthy amount of challenge for you today, you stay right here. All right, I'm gonna go to the side so you can see. You give me hammer curl, 90 degrees. Bring them back in, lower down. Hammer curl, 90 degrees. Bring them in, lower down. Curl, push. Bring them in, lower down. There we go. So the mobility function here is not just stopping with a hammer curl. There's some merit there, but it's not exactly functional. When in real life, are you just gonna lift and hold, right? So it's also lifting and then pushing, combining those two. You pull, you push, you pull, and all the way down, good. Pull up, push, because that's more indicative of real life, right? You don't just push and hold, you push and pull, it's a combo. That's what movement is made up of, it's pushing and pulling. Good, and up, whew, I am feeling it. And down, I messed that one up. One, two, three, there we go. Whew. Bring it in, push, bring it down. You have three more, bring it in, push, bring it down. Whew. My muscles are feeling it and I'm wanting to get sloppy on each one and lift all the way up. Stop at that 90 degrees. Good, bring 
it down. All right, now you have to put those together. You ready? Soft bend in those knees. You're going right back to those diagonals. This time, step back with your right. Right hand down, diagonal. Come together. Give me a hammer curl, 90 degrees. Bring it all the way down. So, again, talk through with me. Diagonal, together. You curl and stand at the same time. Curl and stand, 90 degrees. Bring it down, bend forward, diagonal, together, curl and stand, push, elbows in, lower down, diagonal, you're staying on that right side for right now, curl and stand, push, and lean forward, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. One, two. But don't you go to that left side yet. You have a finale. Good, right foot back, open up to that diagonal. Now pulse it back, one, two. If you need to modify, go to that bent diagonal, elbows bent. Don't you let that spine curve, keep it straight. Extend all the way through the back of that neck. Five, four, three, you're doing great, two, one. Drop it down, shake it out. You have that whole thing on the left side. All right, you start with diagonals. No, we already do diagonals. What am I saying? I'm losing my mind, Johnny. Whew. You have that combo on the left side. All right, you give me diagonal, step together, curl, push, bring it in, bend forward, diagonal, curl and lift, push up, elbows down, lean forward, diagonal, curl, lift, push up, elbows down, Lean forward, diagonal, curl, lift, bring it up, elbows down, good, you're doing great. Again, once you find that rhythm here and you feel comfortable, I know I'm throwing six different movements at you, but if you feel comfortable with those movements, go ahead and try to speed it up or hit those weights a little harder, go a little higher, just like how John went for a heavier weight, he's still sticking with it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Whew, I'm starting to get sloppy. I'm getting tired. Anyone else? No? Nice. Yes? <laughs> Oh, that's the first thing that we try to let go is our form as soon as we get tired. Don't let that happen. If that's you, drop those weights. Do it no weight. That's fine. That's a great modification. Just don't let that form slide. Three more. Good. Give me two more. I want them good. Keep that form intact. Fight for it. Last one. In, up, down, lean forward, open to that diagonal, hold it, pulse it back, one, two, three, four, five, squeeze those shoulder blades together, drive that sternum forward, shoulders out of those ears, four, three, two, one, drop those weights, shake it out, shake it out, get water if you need to. You are two sets down, which means you have one more to go, and then you are done with this segment. You ready? I'm going back to my heavies for the first part of this segment. It's a bent over row. So you're going to lower down through that tailbone, tailbone down, and kind of towards the back, yes? So you're bending, tailbone back, knees bent, weight is in your heels, super important detail. Dumbbells are going to come down, fingertips towards your knees. You're going to pull and twist those elbows back 
twisting your dumbbells, fingertips are forward. Do you see that twist? Rotate fingers towards your knees. Rotate fingertips towards each other. Yes, driving that chest forward without <coughs> opening that rib cage. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift, lower. I want you to get comfortable with this movement first before we go any crazy, any kind of crazy. Good, get comfortable. Feel what that feels like to engage those shoulder blades. Feel what that feels like to really rotate. Relaxing those wrists. No need to hold tension there. Good. Really going for like a chicken wing with those elbows up and back. Up and back. Perfect. Now here comes that mobility component. We're going to add it in. You're going to lift one foot at a time. Let's start with that left foot. Go ahead and place it back behind you. Good. Every time you lift for that row, you lift it off the ground. Lift and hold. Lower down. Lift and hold. Lower down. Again, we're going for functionality here. A lot of times, your legs are going to have to balance while your arms are doing something different. That's real life. You're not always going to have both feet stable against the floor. So that's why we're working it. Doesn't matter how high that leg gets off the ground. Doesn't matter. Just off the ground. Make that right foot work. And hold all of your weight. Four. Three. Two, you better believe we're going to hold it. One, here we go. Up and hold. Find that support. Good. Can you bend one inch lower into that right knee? Hold it. Good. Slowly come up. Find those bent over rows, full range. And a lift. And a lower. And a lift. And a lower. You getting sweaty over there, John Boy? Yes. He took his glasses off. That always means he's fogging up. <laughs> down. And a lift. And a down. Good. <sighs> Driving that chest forward without opening that rib cage, right? This is not what we want to go for. Push. That's not what we want. We want a strong and straight spine. Isolating those shoulder blades. <sighs> lift. Lower. Good. You have two more. Then we're going to add that right foot. Last one. Right foot back. Here we go. Lift it up and down, lift it up, and down, off the floor, <sighs> soft bend in that left knee, don't lock it out, <sighs> abs are pulling into your spine, good, <sighs> breathe through it, <sighs> give me five, give me four, Give me three. Give me two. You can do this. Give me one. Lift and hold. <sighs> Bend into that left knee one inch lower. Hold it. Squeeze those elbows back. Drop it down. Shake it out. I'm going to a lighter weight for this one. All right. Palms up. Elbows in tight. 90 degrees. Tuck that tailbone under for me, even if that means you bend your knees slightly. I don't want you to stick that booty out. All right, you're going to pulse. One, two, three, four. Grab those weights. Rotate. Under, two, up, two. Pulse. One, two, three, four. Under, two, up, two. One, two. Breathe. Three. Four, rotate under, lift it up, good, two, three, four, now at first, you might have seen me do this and think, that looks so easy, girl, just you wait, I'm about to make you think hard about this, good, right now, both hands are in tandem, I'm telling you in a second, it's going to feel like you're doing Sudoku, you're going to have to think hard, give me one, two, three, Three, four, rotate. You have one more. Enjoy it. Give me one, two, three, four, rotate. You ready to think? All right, left palm stays up to the ceiling. Right hand stays down. Pulse that left. Find that rhythm. Good. And when you're ready, rotate that right. Up, down, up, down. I know, it's like 
What is it? Patting your head and scratching your belly? Is it the opposite? Rubbing your belly. Rubbing patting your belly, that. patting your head. Yes, that. <laughs> it's like doing that. You're having to think. <sighs> Give me five, four, three, two, one. Both palms up. Find that rhythm in your right. You should feel that in your biceps and your forearms so bad right now. We're going to rotate that left. Here we go. Rotate. Down. Up. Down. Up. I told you you'd have to think hard. I told you. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. You're going to eight. Two more. Seven. Eight. One pulse. One rotation. Pulse. Rotate, pulse, rotate, pulse, rotate. Now on those rotations, you'll be so tempted to just get sloppy with me. That's how you get injured. Control those dumbbells. Even if that means you take that range of motion slightly lower, that's okay. And a rotate. One, and a rotate. Five, four, you're doing great. Three. Two, one, drop those weights. All right, now you have to put those together. Aren't you so excited? Can I take those, dude? Yes. Are you sure? You don't want to stick with them? I'll find you. Yes. <laughs> you can take the fives if you want. <laughs> He's been outweighing me this whole time until now. This might be the first time, eh? No, 15th. You're doing 15th? Whew, let's see how this goes. All right, ready? You lean forward. You give me that bent over row, alternating which leg comes up. Give me right, down. Give me left, down. Stand 90 degrees, two rotations. And bring it down. So two bent over rows, two rotations. Say with me, two bent rows, two, two rotations. rotations. Good, you said it. You are such a good class. Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, and row, place, row, Place, rotate, rotate, row, place, row, place, rotate. Good. Find a rhythm that works for you. You don't have to stick with me. One, two, three, four. Down, in, down, in. Good. How those 15s feel on those rotations, dude. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it feels miserable. Here we go. Down, lift, down, lift. Ooh, my elbows got sloppy on that one. Down, lift, down, lift. Up, rotate, up, rotate. Down, lift. You're doing great. You have three more. Two more. Let's finish it. Come on. Don't you quit. You made it all the way through this workout. Now is not the time to quit. Last one. Here we go. One, two, three. Palms up. Hold it. You're 90 degrees in those elbows. Palms up to the ceiling. Kick out those legs, walk around, do whatever you need to do. Just don't lean back. Hold it. Don't let those hands drop one inch. Not at all. Gives me five, four, three, two, one. Drop them down. Oh, good. When you're ready, wide V, just like we did those curls. I'm not making you do curls, though. Open that chest. Push those hands back. Thumbs are up to the ceiling. Good. Take them one inch higher. And now further back. Bring them forward slightly. Rotate to where pinkies are up. Take them back. Oh, breathe. I know a lot of you were holding your breath during that. One inch higher. Take them back. Good. When you're ready, give me that wide diagonal. Woo! Rotate those palms. Drive that chest forward. And 
and switch. Big diagonal, rotate. That stretch feels so good. Good, when you're ready, open and close. Really wrapping up that spine. When you're ready, involve that spine. Curving open and close and open and close. Just because we weren't doing a lot of abdominal work doesn't mean your core wasn't working. It deserves a stretch too. It was working hard, holding up your spine the whole time. Three, two, one, shake it out. Give those wrists a good stretch if you need. And then I will see you for part two. Bye.